Oh, is this your fencing dance? Just doing my stretches. And then you gotta work it up high. <laughs> I'm making slow progress on the far fence. So I gotta set up a string line so I can get on my top rail, which is the piece of pipe that goes along the top of the chain link, uh, just so I can get it all nice and even. Chain, looks, chain link looks really good when all the posts are lined up perfectly straight and when you get your top rail all like nice in a line. If, uh, if you have little dips and stuff and if you follow every little dip with your top rail, then your fence looks really like hodgepodge. So straight lines are the secret to it, and so string lines are the only way to make straight lines. We are on a schedule. It is mid-September right now, and uh, I'm already getting messages from work today about people wanting my tickets and, uh, you know, just kind of checking my schedule. And So I'm getting pretty nervous because I really want to get... First off, this fence has to be done no matter what. But then I want to get everything for the the outbuilding and the house sealed up for the winter time. Plus, I got to do a little bit of stuff on the fireplace, and I got to go get wood too. So there's lots of like little tasks that you know take time, and then there's lots of big tasks that are going to take a bunch of time that I still have to get done. So I might uh, bring in some reinforcements and have a friend come over and give me some help. But uh, no matter what, we're going to be super busy for the next little while because, you know, I can't not paint the window frames before the winter. It just has to be done. And I can't leave the outbuilding like that. It just has to be sided. And I can't, you know, leave this fence in disrepair either because, you know, we're trying to lock the kids in a safer play area. So there is so much to do. <laughs> it's a bit intimidating. I, I know we'll pound through it. I'm just worried that work is going to want me right away and I'm not going to be able to say no. So how long do you think this fence is going to take? Two full days of work, I should be able to get it done. It's just whether I can get two full days of work on it without having to do something else. This is not your average chain link fence. Uh, so this is part fence and part grape trellis. Um, normally fences are a lot easier to build than this one because uh, uh, this top rail, when you're just building, if I just built a fence, then this top rail could just continue along the top of the posts because the posts would end. But because I needed to go up higher, this top rail has to end at every single post which adds a lot of cutting and labor and time and annoyance. But the end result's gonna be really cool. Uh, so basically the idea is this top rail up here at the top, where this one will be and where it is over there, uh, the grape vines will be able to grow up and then we'll like trellis them along there. Also like kiwi vines and we'll have some vining flowers in some areas too. But it'll be a lot of like vertical growing space for our plants to grow up. And so we're really excited about that. It'll be like a beautiful kind of barrier between the like the fun area and then like the business area, right? Fun business. This string line, I'm gonna cut everything flat to this, so all the posts will, you know, all be nice and even. Everything mm -hmm. nice and even. It'll look all super straight lines to the eye um, because I'm all obsessed with that type of stuff. This is where we're gonna have a little man gate, so just a four foot gate to get in between the areas. There's like a 10 foot gate, I think it is, over at the far end for us to be able to drive a tractor or drive a truck up here if we have like a big load of dirt and we like need access with something bigger. And other than that, you'll have to walk in by the house to come into this area. So the kids won't be able to just 
freely go around the yard like they can right now, which, you know, I'm sure they enjoy. And, and I, I trust Leah, but Sam is still at that age where he gets into a lot of stuff that he shouldn't. So it'll be nice to have him cordoned off in this area. The goal is to turn this into a farm. So, you know, there's gonna be farm equipment and, you know, there already is like tractor and, and uh, different types of things that we don't want the kids to get into. So, you know, this is an important separation between, uh, you know, business, party, party business. So this is what we're talking about. Just look away for two seconds and Sam's like, you know, a hundred meters away. There's actually gonna be two different heights of chain link here. Uh, one is uh, five feet and one is four feet. Um, we have a lot of chain link. We have like a little parking area over here, but when they put it in, they made it in a really awkward shape. I think they meant that you could park and then back into a spot and turn around and get out fairly easy, but they made it just a bit too tight and it's almost impossible to get turned around in the parking area and people end up having to pull into the property and then do a little U-turn and then go back out because backing out our driveway, which is narrow, is not an option. It's a busy road and it's super not safe. So, you know, part of this is really important, which is making the parking lot bigger and that's just gonna be a lot safer when we have, you know, people more than just us parked in the parking lot. Uh, another thing is that we, to have our farm stand out on the road, we actually have to have four parking spots um, that are on our property. So we need to have a nice little parking lot that's set aside for uh, being able to qualify for our farm stand. Um, even if people aren't gonna be using it for that, like it doesn't matter, we need to have it. And then we've also talked about like putting on courses in our outbuilding down there. And we don't really want people, you know, driving down and parking down there for that. We want to have a, a parking lot so that we can put on courses and everybody can be up here. It's nice and orderly. It's nice and safe. The fence is a little higher. So it seems like, you know, like the kids are kind of like boxed out of it a little bit more so. Also, it's higher because I'm just reusing all this fencing product that's over here already. I'm going to be reusing a lot of it. Hot tips, hot tips. Fencing edition. You're not coming to us to learn how to build a chain link fence, but just a quick little bit of knowledge in case uh, you ever do. Um, there is a right side and a wrong side, like a nice side and a bad side to chain link. So the side that the mesh is on usually faces like into where you could see it or out to like, if it's more like a, a parking area that's like supposed to be secured, then it's more pointing out. So the idea is um, this is our nice side, so we're gonna have the edge of the, the ends of the carriage bolt right here that looks better than the, the nut and the bolt on the back side. But um, you don't want to put the nuts and the bolts on the back side, like exposed to the outside of the fence, if you're in like a high crime area or something, like if it's like a protection fence, because then somebody can just come along and zip all these nuts and bolts apart and start taking your fence apart from the outside. So you're supposed to, you know, like. If you're building a fence for looks, then put the nice side in. But if you're building it for security, then make sure that it's reversed. Working for a chain link fencing company was crazy. Even in a, in a city like this, like you get calls daily from people who had their fences cut. And you know, like you'd really see a lot of the crime firsthand. People coming in from like, you know, a little like forested area or something, any sort of business that backed onto any sort of green space people would just come and cut the fences and, and go right in. So there's nothing really that you can do about it if they really want in, but uh, this just, you know, it doesn't make it easier for them than it has to be. Hot tips. One more thing about chain link, if you really want to strengthen up your fence, uh, you got this top rail, right? So this is where your chain link fence is gonna kind of come up to. And you know, this top rail just kind of sits in there. Um, if you put a little self-tapping metal screw through there, through all of these, it really firms everything up and holds it together forever because uh, things get loose over time, kids climb fences, and one of the first things that happens to fences is this top rail comes out of this like end cap 
and then that ends up just hanging there and it looks all sloppy and nobody ever seems to fix it because you see the same fences you know with the top rail hanging out for years and years so just put a little tap self tapping screw in there and it'll be good forever check out my trick <laughs> That's a good one. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to go in the loop. Yeah, don't do that. For more hot tricks like that, make sure to subscribe. If you really want to see our videos, ring that bell and like or leave a comment down below because we love to hear from you. The fence should be completed in a couple days, so stay tuned for a completed fence video. Bye bye!